Hello, welcome. In this short video, I will demonstrate that the mean of an infinite series of a positive finite values is a finite value under certain conditions. The first condition is that the series must be of a frequency spectrum and the second condition is that the series should take only positive finite values. Basically, the condition is the function h of f where f is a frequency. So, as a result of 1, this function h of f will always have a inverse Fourier transform defined as h of t equals integral 0 to infinity h of f e power j 2 pi f t df. Here, this is the basis function. Now, we will consider the situation where you want to evaluate this integral in a digital computer. So then, both the functions h of t and h of f are usually sampled versions of the original continuous forms. Hence, h of n equals limit delta f k tends to 0. Here, the continuous frequency f becomes a discrete value f k and the integral becomes a summation from therefore k equal to 1 to capital K, where capital K is the number of sample or the total number of values in the series H of F K multiplied by e power j 2 pi F K and delta F K. Here delta F K is the infinitesimal sample width. Now F K can be defined as small k by capital K. Small k is the index of the series. And delta f k, that is the sample width is basically k plus 1 by capital K minus k by capital K, which basically equals 1 by capital K. Hence, as uh, delta f k tends to 0, implies this implies that uh, capital K tends to infinity. And H of n can be rewritten as limit k tends to infinity 1 by k as delta f k is replaced by 1 by k. The summation k equals 1 to capital K H of e of k e power j 2 pi small k by capital K n. Now, if you put n equal to 0 on both sides, you get h of 0 equals limit k tends to infinity 1 by capital K summation. Summation k equal to 1 to capital K h of small k. Note that f k can be replaced with the index k and this uh, basis function becomes e power 0, that is 1. Hence, limit as k tends to infinity 1 by capital K summation k equals 1 to capital K h of k equals to a finite value h of 0 less than infinity. So, you see the mean of an infinite series of a positive finite values is still a finite value. Thanks for watching.